When someone wants you, they usually make it known beyond a shadow of a doubt. But what about when you're getting mixed messages from someone you really like? Sometimes you know that he's interested, other times you worry that he couldn't care less. It makes dating and starting new relationships so difficult and frustrating. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share the seven signs that he's not into you so you can make a wise decision and move on. So don't go anywhere because we're starting in four seconds. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello. Welcome to another video. I'm a psychologist and relationship coach and I make weekly dating and relationship advice videos. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love. So if you're interested in making your love life the best part of your life, start now by clicking the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you aren't missing anything. Okay, on to our topic. Signs that he's just not that into you. New love is magical. It's hypnotizing and euphoric and enchanting with a sense of deja vu and intense attraction. Suddenly someone who was a complete stranger a few weeks ago is now the person that you think about the most. And of course, when you really like someone, you need to know that your feelings are being reciprocated. As I mentioned earlier, when somebody wants you, they usually make it known beyond a shadow of a doubt. But when you're feeling unsure, it can be really unsettling. People waste so much time and energy overanalyzing the behavior of a person they're dating, making excuses for them and justifying their behavior. These hours of suffering and worry and anxiety are a painful waste of time and so unnecessary. That's why you need to be able to quickly recognize when they're not into you and once you're aware, you can adjust your behaviors and your feelings accordingly. After all, what's the benefit in wasting your time and getting more attached to a person who doesn't feel the same way? So without further ado, here are the seven not so obvious signs that the person you're dating is just not that into you. Number one, he doesn't consistently return your calls or texts. Okay, this one might seem obvious, but notice I didn't say instantly, I said consistently. And there's a difference. I mean, people have work and school and other obligations and responsibilities and can't always be immediately available. But consistently means that the person is excited about you and they're eager to stay in touch and communicate. I know when I like a person, I seem to check my phone for text messages or missed calls more frequently just to be certain that I hadn't missed any and because I'm really excited to talk to them and I want to hear from them. So when I receive a text or a message, I'm happy and excited and want to keep the communication going. And you should expect nothing less from your partner as well. Number two, he only makes plans that are convenient for him. In other words, he doesn't go out of his way to see you. A guy who likes you and wants you will make efforts to show you how special you are to him. And actions speak louder than words here. A man can tell you anything he wants, but if he's not willing to put in the effort to go out of his way to show you how special you are, well, then something is wrong. And what do I mean by going out of his way? Well, he comes to your side of town to pick you up. He makes effort to plan a date in advance rather than call you at the last minute to see if you can hang out. He remembers the details of your schedule and makes himself available during those times when you're free. And he offers to do things for you when he can. See, in all relationships, we communicate simultaneously on at least two levels, what we say and what we do. Usually a person's verbal and actual behaviors convey the same message. But when there are inconsistencies in communication, where a person may say one thing but act in a completely different way, yeah, then we have problems. These mixed messages make a person difficult to understand and harder to trust. So yeah, if he's into you, he will do whatever he can to make sure he sees you and spends time with you, even when it's not perfectly convenient for him. He lets you know that you're a priority. Number three, he makes excuses instead of making time. Look, no matter how busy a person is, they either make time for you or they make excuses for you. If you or your relationship is important and a high priority, they will find the time or they'll make the time for you. If they don't make the time, a relationship might not be a priority for them. Perhaps they're focused on doing well in college and getting into graduate school, or they just started a career and are super focused on work, leaving little time for anything else. Those things are understandable and maybe even admirable, but that doesn't mean it's right for you. So if you're dating a person who is super busy and not making you a high priority, understand that it is not a reflection of you. Don't take it personally or question whether you're good enough. 
When someone is super focused on a goal, they might even be afraid that a relationship will hurt their chances of accomplishing their goal. And when that happens, they will most definitely be afraid of getting too involved or attached to anyone. If you like a man that is unavailable or otherwise, you're putting yourself at high risk for being used and hurt. Remember, a relationship might be the last thing he wants. So the next four signs are the ones that are not so obvious. So keep watching until the end because these are the excuses that people give to justify their actions. And when you really like a person, these are the ones that you rationalize and believe so you can hang on to the relationship. Number four, he tells you he's not ready for a relationship. This is a popular one that both men and women use when they're not into someone. Or they say they aren't ready for a commitment because they're afraid of being hurt again. Look, it's appropriate to learn from your experiences and to be cautious with your heart. But at the same time, when you meet that one special person who turns your world upside down, you're willing to do whatever it takes to keep that person in your life. Whatever fears you might have won't come close to the fear of losing the one that you really love. If a guy is telling you up front, I don't want a relationship, believe him when he tells you that. Avoid making excuses and fooling yourself into believing that you can wait it out. The more thought and energy you invest while waiting, the stronger your feelings will become. So don't waste another moment thinking about their situation or wondering when it might change. Move forward and find someone who is on the same page as you are. In the end, you'll be happy that you did. Number five, he gets defensive when you bring up the relationship topic. When a person is interested in you and wants you, they are thinking already of the possibility of a future with you. So if you bring up the topic at a reasonable time, it should be a welcome topic to discuss. Or at the very least, he should be interested in addressing your concerns and understanding your feelings. What's the purpose of getting to know you and spending time with you? Are they just interested in sex or are they interested in a relationship? At the very least, they should be open and honest about their intentions, not defensive. Number six, he keeps you a secret on social media. Does the person you're dating avoid posting photos of the two of you together? And is that person otherwise active on social media? If yes, have you discussed this? New couples who are excited about a future together usually want to share their happiness with friends and family. If that's not happening in your situation, you should certainly ask why. Number seven, he gives you mixed messages. Sometimes partners enter a relationship with different goals in mind. One person invests in the relationship in hopes of a formal commitment, while the other one begins more casually and refuses to make a formal commitment. Still, they act like a couple and reap all the benefits of a relationship. The partner who wants the commitment refuses to accept what they're being told in favor of what they want to believe. Don't get caught up in this arrangement, especially if a long-term relationship is what you want. Doing so ultimately results in feelings of resentment and frustration and fosters a relationship void of honesty, emotional intimacy, and trust. Make sure the person you're dating shares your plans for the future and communicates a consistent message with both their words and their actions. Look, new relationships should be exciting and passionate and easy. When you really like someone, you want them to know how valuable and important the relationship is. And you want to know that your feelings are being reciprocated. So you treat them with as much affection and consideration as you can. And that is exactly how you should be treated in return. Don't settle for anything less. Remember, if you're busy waiting and wondering and worrying about this relationship, you just might miss the opportunity to meet the right one. I love reading about your situations and experiences. So if you're dating a person but not sure of their feelings or intentions, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment and let's start a discussion. Or if you'd like me to help you with your relationship, send me an email, the address is in the comment section below, and I'll tell you how we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please take a moment to hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.